Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the camera follow the player in a 2D game in Unity. Uh, at the moment I've got this scene in this 2D platformer game and the player can move around and jump but we can see that at the moment uh, the camera doesn't actually move so the player can't continue exploring this scene. So what we're going to do is add a script which will uh, allow the camera to follow the position of the player and uh, move through the scene. So what we're going to need to do is create a new script. So I'm going to go into the scripts folder here, right click down there and click on create C sharp script. And I'm going to call this camera controller. Remember it needs to start with an uppercase letter and uh, needs to uh, not have any spaces in the name. So this script is going to be attached to the camera and the way it's going to work is um, it's going to track the position of the player and then update the position of the camera so it's following the player. All right, so I'm going to drag this script, the camera controller, onto the main camera. All right, and if we click on the main camera in the hierarchy, we can see that that script is now attached. All right, so I'm going to double click on this script and open it up in Visual Studio. All right, and firstly, we're going to need to create some variables. Uh, so I'm going to go into this camera controller class here. Just make some space and I'm going to create a public game object variable and we'll call that player. So what this will be used for is uh, to get access to the player. All right, so it's a public variable, which means if I save this script and go back into Unity, might take a few seconds for Unity to recognize the uh, changes in the script. So if I save the script, go back to uh, Unity, click on the main camera, which this script is attached to, we can now see that public variable there, that game object variable called player. And at the moment it's set to none. So what we can do is click and drag in one go, just click and drag the player and drop that there. And now this script is linked to the player. All right, so that means that we can now find out the position of the player and then update the position of the camera. All right, so let's go back to the script. So what I'm going to, do, going to show you first is uh, the easiest method of getting the, the camera to follow the player. So I'm going to go into the update method. I'm gonna add a line of code here, transform.position equals. So what this will do is update the position of the camera, which this script is attached to. And I'm going to create a new vector three. Let's make sure that's uppercase V there. New vector three. And this vector three is gonna have uh, three different values separated by commas for the X, Y, and Z uh, coordinates. So I'm going to put player.transform.position.x for the X coordinate value, and then transform.position.y, the Y coordinate, and then transform.position.z for the Z coordinate. What this means is that we're updating the position of the camera, which this script is attached to, and we're using a new vector three, and in that we're specifying for the X coordinate, for the camera's position, it's going to match the uh, position of the player on the X coordinate. And on the Y and Z axes, the camera is just going to maintain its own current position. So it's not going to move up or down on the Y axis and it's not going to change uh, on the Z axis either. It's only going to change its position on the X axis and that is to follow the player's position. All right, now we can save that script and go back into Unity. And just with that code alone, this will allow the camera to follow the player. All right, so let's click on play. All right, now if I move around this scene, you can see that the camera does actually move with the player. All right, so we can explore more of that scene. But uh, there is a problem. All right, if we wanted to explore more of the scene uh, vertically, like if there was more to explore 
further up there or if we wanted to explore further down below this uh, platform then um, we couldn't uh, really get the camera's not moving at the moment it's not uh, changing on the y-axis so if you want to you can go back to the script and you can actually update this bit of code here so instead of the camera just staying wherever it is on the y-axis it can follow the player's position on the y-axis so this is optional this is if you do want to be able to explore the scene horizontally and vertically all right so after saving that uh, code you can go back into unity and see what that will do all right now we can see that the, the camera is moving horizontally with the player and when i jump the camera also moves up all right but uh, there is a problem you can see these blue bars at the top and the bottom so if you're going to allow the player to move up and down the scene and you want the camera to move up or down with the player then you're going to make need to make sure that your background is big enough to fill the camera's view so either enlarge the background or use a bigger image for the background so yeah we can see that the the camera goes up and it goes down um, following the player's position both horizontally and vertically i don't really want to um, do that in my game though like i'm just going to only allow the player to move uh, left and right um, and the, the player can jump but i only want the camera to move left and right with the player i'm not going to add any more to the scene up here so i'm just going to go back to the code and just change that back to how it was before so that the uh, camera just follows the player on the x-axis only all right now the next thing that you can do is you can uh, improve this code a little bit more by making the camera by making the player be able to see a little bit further ahead so if the player is moving uh, walking towards the right they'll be able to see further ahead to the right and if the player is moving to the left they'll be able to see further ahead to the left and we can make the camera more smoothly follow the player uh, when that happens as well so i'm going to change this code uh, add some new variables and adjust the code to just improve the camera um, camera tracking a little bit okay so a couple of variables here that need to be uh, they need to be public variables and uh, so I'm going to add public float offset and public float offset smoothing they will need to be public uh, because uh, well, they don't need to be public but uh, if they are public it means that we can adjust those values in unity without having to go back to the code and we can even adjust the values while the game is running to test uh, the changes but basically what the offset variable is for is that's going to be used it's going to be a number or float and it's going to be used to offset the position of the camera so basically it's going to look a little bit like this if the player is here and walking right then they should be able to see further ahead to the right be able to see what's coming any enemies ahead and, and obstacles and things like that but if the player is uh, moving to the left then we want the camera to move over a little bit so that the player can see further ahead to the left and see what's ahead so to do that we're going to add an offset we're going to offset the camera a little bit from the player and we're also going to use a value to smooth the motion of the camera uh, moving uh, to catch up with the player's position when the player changes direction. All right, so we need those two variables and uh, they're going to be public. The last variable that we'll need, this one can be private. It's a vector three and this is going to be called player position. We'll use this variable to store the player's position. All right, this line of code here, which I updated, uh, added before in the update method, I'm going to change that line of code. So instead of being transform.position, we're going to make that player position. So this player position variable is going to store this information, uh, which will be used in the next few lines of code. So how this is going to work is firstly, going to check which direction the player is looking in, if they're looking uh, left or if they're looking right. And then we're going to offset the camera either to the left or the right side 
of the player so they can see ahead in the direction that they're walking. Okay, and we can do this just by checking what is the scale of or local scale of the player. So if the local scale is a positive number, that means that the player is looking right. And if the local scale is a negative number, right, if I flip the player over to look left, um, then sc scale on the x axis is a negative number. All right, so we can use that information, find out the the scale, local scale on the x-axis of the player, which will tell us which way the player is facing. Um, and if you haven't changed the scale of the player on the x-axis to make the player look left or right, uh, to face left or right when the player is moving, then go back to uh, the previous video where I explained how to do that. All right, so I'm going to add an if statement here. I'm going to check if player dot transform dot local scale is uh, dot x is greater than zero f so basically if the local scale of the player on the x-axis is greater than zero in other words if the player is looking right then what we're going to do is update the player position variable to be equal to new vector 3 and in parentheses here we're going to get the current player position on the x-axis but add that offset value and the offset value and the offset smoothing value, we're going to set that in just a moment in Unity, but at the moment that value is not specified. So we're gonna add that offset and then we're going to just keep the um, player's position on the Y axis and on the Z axis. All right, so we're not going to change the um, information about the player's position on the Y or Z axis, we're just going to add an offset on the X axis so that the camera is offset a little bit from the player's position. Okay, then we can add an else block. So now if the player's uh, local scale on the X axis is not greater than zero, all right, so if they're facing left, then what we can do is copy this line of code here paste that in there and all we need to do is say minus offset instead. All right, last line of code. So now that we've changed the uh, player position variable based on which direction the player is looking, we now just need to apply that to uh, the camera's position. All right, so this script is attached to the camera. So to update its position, again, we can just say transform.position equals and this time we're going to say vector3.lerp and what this allows us to do is um, take the position of the camera then specify where we want it to move to which is the player position um, but then apply um, an off the, the offset so, um, so make the camera sort of catch up to the player but um, based on the amount of time and the amount of smoothing we want, all right? So how we can specify how quickly the, the camera catches up to the player or um, and how smoothly it does that. All right, so I'm gonna say transform dot position. Okay, so we get the position of the camera currently and we want it to go to the position that's stored in the player position variable. And then we're going to say offset smoothing multiplied by time dot delta time. All right, save that code. And we'll need to go back into Unity and we're going to need to set the values for these two variables here. All right, so let's go back into Unity, click on the camera and go down to that script and we can see offset and offset smoothing are just zero at the moment. So these values are gonna vary depending on your preferences, um, but I'm gonna set the offset to five and offset smoothing to two. Basically the smaller this number is for offset smoothing, uh, the slower the camera will be at catching up to the position of the player when the player changes direction. Uh, and the bigger the number, the, the faster the, the camera will catch up. Um, the offset is basically the distance that the camera is from the player um, when they change direction. So let's test that out. Okay, so now if I move, you can see the camera is 
moving with the player, but when I change direction, the camera uh, goes and looks ahead further in the direction that the, the player is looking. So when I'm moving or walking um, right, I can see further ahead to the right. And then when I start looking left, I can see further ahead to the left. All right, now you can change these values here. So I could change the offset. I could reduce that if I wanted to, to three. So we can see now the, the player is getting a little bit closer to the center of the screen. If I um, reduce that value, and if I increase the value, the, the player is moving further away from the center of the screen. So they can see further ahead in the direction that they're looking. And with offset smoothing, if I was to reduce that number, so if I reduce it to one, uh, we can see like the, the camera just, it's more slowly catching up to the change in direction of the player. All right, if I change that to uh, a bigger number like four, uh, you can see that the camera movement is a lot, like it's much jerkier, it's not very smooth. Okay, um, one thing to keep in mind though, when you change these values down here in the inspector panel, uh, or any change that you make to your scene while the game is actually running won't be saved when you stop the game. So if I stop the game now, these values here are going to revert back to what they were before I started playing the game. So just make sure any changes that you want to permanently keep, uh, that you change them when the game is not actually running. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how you can uh, make the camera follow the player, either by just tracking the position of the camera or using that extra code to make the uh, player be able to look ahead further in the direction that they're walking and allow the camera to more smoothly follow the player. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching.